Hey guys, Official Vulnerable here, and in this video I will be showing you guys how to root and install custom recovery on your Galaxy Nexus from any carrier, including Sprint, Verizon, or any unlocked or international carrier. Yes, this will work on the latest firmware release, version 4.1.1 or Jelly Bean, and it will work on any other firmware, however, I do recommend that you do upgrade to the latest 4.1.1 version first before attempting to root it using this guide. This guide will be fairly simple and straightforward, however, it may take a while, but it's very doable and you guys will need to download one thing to your desktop that's nexus root toolkit version 1.5.4 for windows and you can find a link to get that in the description down below there will be a link to my website where you can find a full guide and the links you need there i want to go ahead and get started not much explaining is needed but the first time you guys go ahead and open nexus root toolkit you're going to get this pop-up and you want to select your device which version of android it is running and then select apply once you've done that you want to select full driver installation guide and you guys want to go through all of this through all three steps to make sure your device is installed correctly because this guide does require that you do have all of your drivers for your Samsung device. Anyways, once you have finished those things on your device, you do want to make sure that USB debugging is enabled. So that's in settings. You're going to scroll down. You're going to go to developer options, toggle them on. Okay. And then go to USB debugging on. Okay. And that's it. Now make sure your device is plugged in. Back in the toolkit, you want to select unlock and then go ahead and select OK. Now it'll go ahead and unlock your bootloader so we can proceed with this rooting tutorial. And just like that, your Nexus will reboot with an unlocked bootloader. Now it may take a long time to boot up and you guys will see a little unlocked lock icon down below, but eventually it will boot up and back in the root toolkit, we wanna go ahead and select OK. And now we're ready to go ahead and begin the root. So if you guys do want a custom recovery, right here you want to select custom recovery and that basically enables you to flash many different roms just from your device it's very easy if you don't want it you don't have to select it but go ahead and select root after reading this if you do want to go ahead and select ok this will take a while so go ahead and set your device aside and give it a good 15 minutes in order to root your device once you do get to the screen you want to select install ready to flash root files in here CWM super user and then go ahead and swipe to confirm flash. Now it will install super SU on your rooted device. And now go ahead and select reboot system. Your device should boot up fully rooted. Now once your Galaxy reboots go ahead and go into your applications and you guys will now have super SU. And if you want to download a root checker you can go ahead and do that to confirm that you do have root access and as you can see I am rooted. So guys, that's how you root your Galaxy Nexus on the latest Jelly Bean firmware for any carrier Nexus using a root toolkit. Very easy, guys. I do hope this video did help you guys root your device. Please like and favor. It does help me tremendously. Leave any comments or questions down below. I will try to get to them and subscribe for many more Android videos to come. Have a great day. Enjoy your rooted device, guys. Peace.